last week, Philip was busy preparing the rooms of our future master suite for the electrics, whilst I was continuing to strip wallpaper. We're so glad to have Benoit and Vincent here this week, so we're going to make some exciting progress. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. This wall on the outside is exposed to the wind and the elements, so we decided to insulate it. So what people normally do, they put insulation against the wall and put a drywall on top of it. Now that works, it keeps the room warmer. However, the moisture in the air inside the room, just from people living there, will travel through the insulation and condensate on the wall, which is the coldest point in the room by then. It can then go into the insulation or just form mold in between insulation and the wall. The suggestion is to put a membrane on top of the insulation, but the problem is that works in a new build where you can make it perfectly airtight. However, in old buildings like this, it's almost impossible to perfectly insulate it and moist air will end up condensating on the wall. So it's a dilemma. You need a membrane to prevent moist air to going into the insulation, but once it's in there and it will go in there, it's trapped. After a lot of research, I found a product which probably is a solution. It's a high-tech membrane that allows the trapped moist air from inside to evacuate, but the moist air in the room should theoretically be blocked. So it's permeable, but only from one side. The only way to find out if it really works is to open up the plasterboard in a couple of years, investigate and see if there's moisture. And given the price that I paid for this membrane, I really hope there isn't any. It turned out that most of the walls here are in pretty bad condition, with flaking plaster and big cracks. The walls of the bathroom were particularly unstable, so we decided to add plasterboard to give them additional stability. Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé? No, no, je 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 tout petit peu avec le. It's not perfectly matching the hole that I drilled underneath, but I measured, and uh, yeah, it's like it's just. It's not bad. It's not bad. This is perfect. Okay, this let's one. come check out your handiwork. This one is a good one. This is a good Ooh, look at that. That's the monkey Super. 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 No, it's not true. Let's go and see the other room. And I see there is massive changes. Look at this.
today should be the last day of electrical installations, but it's also going to be the most tricky one because I need to bring a light into the middle of the ceiling. There's never been a light, which means that I have to find a way through the ceiling with my cable. And that's going to be a bit of like fishing in the dark. I don't know if that's an existing metaphor. It's about climbing a lake. It's like swimming in the mud. It's like cycling on a mattress, jumping under a rock. I'm using this. I, I don't have much hope, but you never know. I don't know if you can remember, I found this camera. I call it charmingly nose hair drone. And this allows me now to at least see what happens inside and maybe even find my way through whatever's in there. See the light. Can you see, can you see the light at the end of the tunnel? Can you feel the light at the end of the tunnel? I think I can see it, even though I can't reach it. Oh no, now it's stuck. Okay, so I'm getting up. I need a new system. I need to drill a hole in the middle. It's so dark, you can't really see. Oh yes, I drilled in a bit. I should have measured, but anyways. Ben, I very smartly covered my hole that I made for the plug socket with this paneling. And it didn't mark the spot where I drilled the hole. So now I have to remember where I drilled the hole to drill a hole in the wood at the same place. I do trust myself that I made it exactly underneath this one. Um, but the height, I, I can't remember, but I just assume it's the same, same in the other rooms. But That's the plasterboard underneath, and now the question is, what's behind the plasterboard? No hole. That's definitely a case of absolutely no hole. Okay, I'm gonna drill another hole. I must admit there is a severe case of 
what we call in German cabbage salad, cable salad, and there's also a dog. Uh, but this will be sorted out immediately because I'm gonna make a full ceiling here, because me too, I can do that. And there will be enough space to hide these cables. Two, seven, eight. We decided not to keep these openings here for several reasons it wouldn't work with the layout uh, of our bathroom. I don't have any tools like, to open it up, so it's gonna be old fashioned. I don't have a mask, I know, that's why I close my eyes. It's a matter of minutes before Anna comes in and asks if everything is alright. So the fact that Anna doesn't come can only mean two things. Either she thinks these are normal noises when I work, or she doesn't care about me. <gasps> what a mess. Confirm, I'm covered in little glass splinters, which is really unpleasant. Um, you see, they even shine. I don't know if you see that. It's just like a little sparkle, like my daughter's like that. I did this, of course, only to show you how not to break glass. If there are any thieves among you, and you know how to do this in a more clean way, please let me know. I need to break another panel in a couple of days. Sixty-nine. It's easy to remember sixty-nine because it's like sixty-nine inverted. It also. Ah, no, forget it. And with this, all the cables for the master suite are in place. It wasn't easy to get cables for three rooms and a hallway into this small square space, which surprisingly is exactly the name of this week's sponsor, Squarespace, an all-in-one platform to create an outstanding online presence. Uh, but unlike for this cable situation here, which needed a highly skilled and trained professional like me, you don't need to be an expert to use Squarespace. And the reason why you don't need to be a web designer is because the platform guides you through the process of setting up a page, starting with their flexible templates for every purpose. Whether you run a restaurant, an online shop, a member-only service, or just need a personal web page with your CV, Squarespace makes it easy for you to come 
come up with an outstanding online presence. They now even have a tool to create and promote your own online course to turn your expertise into an income stream. And if you would like to see how easy it is for you to finally create your own online web presence, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And if you're ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash how to renovate a shuttle to get 10% off of your first purchase of a web page or domain. A couple of weeks ago, we asked you guys to submit suggestions for the Master Suite, and we got two new ones which we have to share with you. Thank you, René Gretsch from Maison Nene, for these beautiful renders. There's the original choice to put the bathtub and the shower towards the window, which gives you beautiful views whilst washing, and the toilet and be there are hidden towards the end of the room. And look at this cozy proposal for the bedroom, we really like it. Another stunning rendering comes from the team of Agostino Castro San Martin from Argentina. They also put a sink towards the upper end of the room, which allows to create a symmetrical access to shower and toilet. The bathtub would be in front of the window, which looks very nice, even though you lose the view outside when you're bathing. But what I particularly like in their proposal is the look of the bedroom. It really captures the spirit of our chateau, and I know I would sleep very well in this room. So thank you Agostina, Paula and Alessandro for your amazing contribution.